If you want to keep your looks, you might need a facelift. BMW has given the entire 3 Series a makeover. New, less thirsty engines are included in the lower end models, with the upper end equipped with the newly developed twin power turbo motors. All models include new fuel efficiency technology. But a facelift is more than about looks. BMW's Hubert Rauberger says the firm set out to place more emphasis on the elegance of the 3 Series Coupe and the convertible. To do that, they optimized the front of the car, the profile and the trunk. Rauberger says the steps they took stress the width of the car and lower the profile, giving the impression the car has been stretched. Redesigned kidney grills freshen up the front of the coupe and the convertible. The horizontally placed air intake stresses the width of the car. Silver blades draw attention to the fog lights out at the side. Seen from an angle, the new front end is very three-dimensional and dynamic. And BMW has added an extra 2.9 centimeters of overhang. With an open roof, the flat shoulder line becomes even more apparent, but at a price. The convertible costs about 7,000 euros more than the coupe. The interior of the convertible is bright, friendly and spacious. Both models come with the sports edition steering wheel with its multi-function buttons. The red coupe's black interior is especially seductive. It certainly attracted us. We tested the coupe in its most powerful gasoline engine edition. The 335i is powered by a newly developed inline six cylinder engine producing 306 horsepower. It does 0 to 100 in 5 and a half seconds. Top speed is 250 kilometers an hour. Our model is equipped with the optional 7-speed sports automatic direct shift gear box. Tilt switches on the steering wheel give the option of manual shift, which is responsive for more driving enjoyment. Rollberger says with BMW, cars, sportiness and efficiency are not mutually exclusive. He refers to the 320D Efficient Dynamics Edition. That car, he says, produces 120 kilowatts using 4.1 liters per 100 kilometers, with a CO2 emission value of 109 grams per kilometer. It also does from 0 to 108 seconds, which he says makes it unique in this sector of the market. 8,0 Sekunden und ist damit einzigartig in diesem Segment. The Efficient Dynamics Edition model is offered alongside the normal 320D version. Both models cost the same, but the former uses about half a liter less fuel per 100 kilometers. BMW has set its sights high as far as environmental friendliness goes. The 3 Series models already meet the Euro 5 emission standard. The 320D sedan goes one better. It already meets the Euro 6 standard to be introduced in 2014. The AMI Car Show in Leipzig celebrates its 20th anniversary this year. More than 600 manufacturers will be showing off their new products. This year we'll see some world and European firsts. Volkswagen is bringing its new Turan model, which has undergone a real facelift. The People Carrier has been fitted with the new brand typical VW look, which means the appearance of the new Turan resembles the Golf Plus and the Golf variant. Mercedes is presenting its new R-Class for the first time in Europe. The car is fitted with a new front look and more fuel-efficient engines. The 300 CDI Blue Efficiency produces as much power as its predecessor, but has better performance and uses 7% less fuel. 
The manufacturer says the average consumption is 7.6 liters over 100 kilometers. The R-Class hits European showrooms in September. And Chevrolet is presenting its new Camaro at the Leipzig show. The new version harks back to the successful 1960s model. And fittingly for the rebirth of this legend, the American car comes with a huge engine. The 6.2 liter V8 with manual transmission produces 426 horsepower. The new Chevrolet Camaro is expected to go on sale in Europe in February 2011. Car tester Matas Curat says, the word black has various connotations in Spanish. There's pata negra, the famous ham from black trotted pigs. There's ovea negra, the black sheep. Or the camisa negra, of the song by the Colombian musician Juanes, which was a hit a few years ago. And now there's the boca negra, the black mouth. It's not a real mouth, though. We're talking about the new Seat Ibiza, the Seat Ibiza Cupra Boca Negra, which has the name from its design. The black fronted car is a limited edition of the most powerful Ibiza model, and we're going to put it through its paces. Limited means they will only be 1,000 Ibiza Cupras in this design every year. The name Boca Negra has a tradition. From 1976 to 1979, Seat made the Sport 1200 Boca Negra. 67 horsepower back then was enough to hit 157 kilometers an hour. And the Cooper model has been around a while too. Kurat says this generation of the Seat Ibiza Cupra is a little softer line than its predecessor. As a standard, it's fitted with XDS, an electronic differential lock which is designed to improve performance in curves. It also has the 7-speed DSG direct shift gear system, straight from Volkswagen. It also comes with a sport option, but that means accepting very high revs produced by the engine because the gear shifts very late indeed. The Boca Negra comes in a choice of two colors, candy white and Dakota red. Those base colors make sure the black front really stands out. And the wing mirrors are also black. The window line looks as if the Ibiza is fitted with frameless panes on the doors, but that's an optical illusion. The trunk is striking. The centrally hung exhaust emphasizes its sport credentials. It takes 7.2 seconds to get from 0 to 100. with a top speed of 225 kilometers an hour. Kurat says a strong engine needs strong brakes, and the Spanish have not cut corners here. The new Ibiza Cupra produces 180 horsepower with its 1.4 liter engine. The fuel injection engine has added bite through the use of turbo and supercharging. Karat says there are two things to pay attention to in the interior. First, there's the seat heating. That's very powerful, and you need to be careful with it. And then there's the black-colored screen with a carbon fiber look above the speedometer and tachometer. It looks nice, but light reflects back off it onto the inside of the windscreen, meaning he could see a lot there, apart from the road. Black is a dominant theme in the interior, peppered with the Boca Negra logo and red stitching. The door handles are quite far forward, which hampers control when opening the door. But all in all, the Ibiza Cupra Boca Negra manages to combine good driving qualities with a sharp appearance, making the 24,100 euro price tag in Germany all that easier to accept. The Jensen 541R. If James Bond films had been made in the 1950s, these would surely have been 007's signature wheels. 
only 192 units of this legendary coupe came off the assembly line. One found its way to southern Bavaria and into the garage of Dr. Hans Kleinknecht. It was a prize to savor for the Anglophile classic car fan. In his own words, it was love at first sight. But not everyone shares his passion. The car's long nose and lumpy rear end polarize opinions. Hans Kleinknecht discovered his love for the car by chance. He says it all started in 1994 when he bought a car buyer's guide and noticed a description of the Jensen's 541R. And the best thing was, in the one ads, someone wanted to sell one. With its decorative chrome, soft curves, and old plaques, the Jensen is 100% original. Kleinknecht points out one remarkable feature. The car has no radiator grill. When the engine temperature rises, shown here on the water thermometer, the engine hood can be opened mechanically by releasing a cable. This exotic car's hallmark is hand-finished features. The interior also boasts unorthodox details. The worn leather tells stories of 50 years of use, and the curved rear windscreen offers only limited visibility. An adjustable steering wheel was a novelty in 1954. The Jensen feels happiest cruising along at 80 kilometers per hour. Its humming 153 horses are more than enough to zip through Bavaria's alpine foothills. Kleinknecht says the Jensen's engine is a four-liter job with six cylinders. The 541 doesn't mean 5.4 liters displacement, but the year 1954, first model series. What's more, the Austin-built engine is even bulletproof. Disc brakes on the front and rear axles provide adequate deceleration. And if something goes wrong, a Jensen owner can often fix it alone. Kleinknecht praises the car's easy repairs, saying the home mechanics can accomplish much on English cars. Small repairs can easily be done at home. The Jensen's plastic body is unique among luxury cars. The manufacturer chose it for reasons of cost. The Noble Brit's price is about 25,000 euros. And don't expect the value to rise, because the market for this car is relatively small. Kleinknecht says whoever buys this car isn't doing so from an investment point of view. It's out of love for its lines and the extravagance of it all. And for its incomparable sound. When it's voluminous, inline six negotiates the serpentines, even the cows flap their ears. <laughs>